So if you are a beginner, these are some of the candlestick pattern you need to learn. Now if you haven't went through my complete professional candlestick trading course, make sure you go through that first because I've explained all of these things and in this video, I'm going to explain more other different candlestick patterns. So I'll do a quick recap on the patterns that I've talked about. I'm not going to talk about the names, okay? Just to make things simple. If you see this pattern, at the end of a downtrend, this tells you that price will you turn and go up. If you see the same pattern at the end of an uptrend, it tells you that chances are price might go down afterwards. If you see this inverted pattern after a downtrend, this tells you that price might you turn and go up. If you see this pattern at the end of an uptrend, this tell you that price is going to U-turn and go down. Same thing for these patterns and these patterns. When you see these patterns, it tells you that price might potentially U-turn from here. Now by U-turn, what I'm talking about is the whole entire trend can reverse or the retracement might end. So you see this pattern at the end of a downtrend, price is going to go up. And this pattern at the end of an uptrend, price might go down afterwards. And this pattern at the end of a downtrend, it might U-turn and this pattern, it might U-turn downwards if it shows up at the end of an uptrend. Spinning top shows up at the end of an uptrend, it's going to go down. At the end of a downtrend, it tells you that price is going to go up. Doji at the end of an uptrend, price might U-turn afterwards. At the end of a downtrend, price might U-turn and go back up. Of course, if the real world is that simple, then we will all become millionaires, right? All of these candlestick patterns have one thing in common. They are single candlestick pattern, yes. Hence, you will need an additional confirmation. So in order for this U-turn to be strong enough, you want to see a bullish candlestick after this pattern. Then for this pattern, because we are looking for U-turn downwards, you want a bearish candlestick signal to appear after this. Same thing for all of these patterns over here. You need an additional confirmation because a lot of these patterns, especially the ones down here, it just shows you that buyers and sellers, they are indecisive. It doesn't tell you that, okay, we are going to U-turn when you see this pattern. It just tells you that buyers and sellers, they are in balance. They don't know where they want to go. They don't know what they want to do. So the moment a bearish candlestick signal forms after this spinning top, it tells you that, okay, sellers took over and sellers have made their decisions to push the price down. Okay, so one very important thing, remember to wait for the second candle and use it as a confirmation. And also understand that different patterns have different strength. Let's say all of these contacts are the same. Which one is a stronger bullish signal? So if you compare this pattern and this pattern, both will cause the end of the bearish trend to go up. Which one is stronger? If you know the psychology, you will know that this is stronger in terms of bullishness than this pattern. And hence, the bullish strength for this pattern will be stronger than this pattern. But if you compare this and this, which one is a stronger bullish pattern? The answer would be this pattern. Because the smaller the body, the stronger will be the reversal signal. But for continuation candle, you want the body to be as large as possible. So the larger the body, the stronger will be the continuation signal. So if you compare the reversal strength of this pattern and this pattern, now you tell me which one is stronger. The answer will be this pattern because doji open and close is the same and hence this is a stronger reversal pattern as compared to spinning top. And of course in terms of bearish strength, it's almost the same thing. This pattern with this pattern. 
which one has a stronger bearish strength even though both will cause the trend to you turn and go downwards the answer will be this one okay in terms of bearish strength which one is stronger this one or this one the answer will be this one if i put things in simple terms if the body or the open close is on top of the candle then it is a stronger bullish signal if the body or the line is at the bottom of the candle then that will be a stronger bearish signal if the body or the line is in the middle people are confused people don't know what they want until a confirmation candle shows up so another thing that causes a candle to increase in strength of course is the context but let's say we just look at the candlestick itself what will cause the strength of the candle to increase the longer the lower shadow or the upper shadow the stronger it will be basically for all these patterns the longer the shadow then the stronger is the signal but of course you can have the perfect pattern best looking pattern in the world but if the context is wrong if it appears at the wrong place then no matter how perfect the candlestick pattern looks it's not going to work out now if you look at charts properly stock charts currency charts futures charts etfs commodities you realize that the world is not so perfect you know what i'm saying so gravestone doji you realize that it wouldn't go like this perfectly it would have sometimes a small lower wick and it looks like a doji but then it looks like greystone doji so what is this the perfect patterns it doesn't really appear that often what you'll see more often are the imperfect patterns or some people call it near dojis or you can call it imperfect dojis because they just look a little bit different a little bit weird it's good to be different in life at the same time dragonfly doji most of the time it wouldn't appear like that there will be a small upper wick so what do you do is this a bullish pattern bearish pattern indecisive pattern same thing for the hammer pattern sometimes you realize that you know the pattern forms like this but then there's a small upper wick so is what is this can okay, the things you teach me not practical so these are the real world so-called real world patterns now if you understand the psychology of candlestick pattern you will know whether these patterns are bullish or bearish for any candlestick pattern if the body or line appears on the top half of the candlestick range it is a stronger bullish signal so you can see this pattern an imperfect doji what is it you can say it's a dragonfly doji the line appears on top body appears on top yes it has a small upper wick but the point is the line appears at the top half of the range and hence this is still a bullish signal this is a bullish signal because it appears at the top half okay if you cannot tell whether it's at the top half or top bottom or at the bottom you take a roller and then measure the distance so if it appears at the bottom half of the candle can be here 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 this candlestick will be a stronger bearish signal go back to this one line is below the whole entire range hence this is a bearish signal but why does it have a small lower wick it just tells you that okay the buyers tried to push the price up but it only managed to push it all the way until here at the end of the day sellers still won just that it is not as strong as a perfect gravestone logy just that this is not as strong of a bullish signal as compared to a perfect dragonfly doji understand what i'm saying so what if i give you a test the line appears slightly over here is the black doji a stronger bullish signal or is the doji with the green line 
a stronger bullish signal. By now you already know, it's the one with the black line, the one that's slightly on top. Because the more the line appears at the top, the stronger is the bullish signal. If the line appears here, this one will be weaker than this one. If the line appears here, this will be weaker than this. So when it comes to bearish, you want the line to be as low as possible, way at the bottom. So which one will be a stronger bearish signal? The first one or second one? Answer will be the second one. If the line appears on top here, this will be weaker than this one in terms of bearish strength. So that's why when it comes to candlestick reading, you don't really need to memorize the names. It just makes you look smarter when people talk about hammer, doji, when you go networking. Because you cannot go to a networking event and then somebody asks you, hey, did you see the shooting star? Yes, I saw it using my telescope yesterday night. So that's one very special type of doji that a lot of people don't talk about. It's called four price doji. Now this is very common in the stock market, especially in stocks that are not so liquid. So basically it looks something like this. Okay, the high and low open and close are all equal. So what does this pattern indicate? It tells you that there is very low liquidity or trading volume. So you see this very often in penny stocks and small cap stocks that are not so popular. Personally, I feel that if you see a lot of these patterns, it is a sign that you should not even trade right now or you should not even trade this stock. There's no point trading it because you are not getting enough liquidity and the second thing is that this pattern might also be caused by data error. You know there are so many stocks with nice complete candlesticks and you want to trade stocks that look like this, just don't trade. So this pattern can also appear in stocks that are popular but it will only appear during after trading sessions or low liquidity trading sessions. As you already know that low liquidity, anybody with deep pockets, they can move the stock easily, they can move that market easily. Okay, so let's talk about another pattern which is called Marwazo. So basically this is just a candlestick pattern with a very long, large body. Length and size matters. So let's call this one normal Marwazo. I don't know what to call it. So the perfect normal white marbozu looks like this. Long white body without upper wick, upper shadow, without lower wick, lower shadow. And for black normal marbozu, it's just the same thing. Only difference is that it is black color. It is a bearish candlestick. So the next one, you have the white opening. Some people call it opening white marbozo. Anything you like. Long white body with small upper shadow. Closing white or white closing. The opposite. Long white body with small lower shadow. Opening black or black opening. Long black body with small lower shadow closing black or black closing is the other way around long black body with small upper shadow so when you see any of these candlesticks will they cause a continuation will they cause a reversal later on i'm going to talk about that but for now i need you to understand one thing is that in the real world you realize that this and this is not very common because very seldom you find candlesticks with no wicks. So what is more common is these four. If you compare opening white with closing white, which is a stronger bullish signal? By now you should know this. Opening white has a small upper wick, right? When the price opens over here, buyers push the price up, but then a little bit of sellers came in, pushed the price down slightly. But are they strong? They are not that strong. So if you compare the bullish strength between these two, which one is stronger? 
the answer will be closing white how about for opening black closing black which one is a stronger bearish signal by now you should know the answer would be this one so come to question will these patterns cause the price to go up or go down for a bullish marbozo if it appears in the middle of an uptrend it is a continuation pattern this means that this is going to cause price to continue to go up how about opening white closing white is the same implication so if you see this pattern and this in the middle of an uptrend any of this pattern in the middle of an uptrend it tells you that price is going to continue to go up but what if it shows up at the end of an uptrend so if you see a trend that has been going on for a very very long time and all of a sudden this appears or any of the Marbozo patterns this is not a continuation pattern anymore because for a trend to progress you will need momentum right bullish momentum to push the price up so when the price does this a very strong rally with a big bullish candle it tells you that okay price will potentially reverse and go on to a downtrend and hence this becomes a reversal pattern so it depends on where is it formed is it formed at the end of a trend or is it formed at the start of the trend how about for black marbozos it's the same thing just that it applies on a bearish trend so when you have a bearish trend you see any of these marbozo patterns when a trend has just started it hasn't been going on for a long time and you see this it becomes a continuation pattern and it tells you that price is going to continue to go down okay then if it forms at the end of a trend that has been going on for a long time you see a sharp drop in price with this pattern or this pattern or this pattern it tells you that okay the downtrend has ended hence please take your profit please exit so what if what if you see a long black candle or a long white candle but instead of one wick or no wick you have small wick at the bottom small wick on top small wick on top small wick at the bottom this is what we call long candles so what are the implications it is the same thing when this appears in the middle of the trend continuation at the end of the trend reversal middle of the trend continuation end of the trend reversal repeat this to yourself every single night before you go to sleep so of course with long candles there are also short candles if you have a small body instead you have the same thing small lower wick small upper wick you have a small body instead of a big body lower wick upper wick small ones so these are short candles what is the market telling you it tells you that buyers and sellers they are okay with the current price it is also a signal that price is losing momentum the trend is losing momentum this candlestick normally doesn't mean anything because most of the time it just appears randomly or in a sideways market but it means something important if it appears right after a big long candlestick at the end of the trend because this is a signal that momentum has ran out you know what i'm saying so this confirms that our long candlestick has used up all the momentum so you can say that this is a confirmation for long candles that the bullish trend that's been going on for quite some time now is going to end the bearish trend that's been going on for quite some time now is going to end right now and hence price is going to u-turn so just understand that as a beginner you need to learn single candlestick pattern first then followed by double candlestick pattern then followed by triple candlestick pattern so in the next 
video, few videos I'm going to talk about double candlestick pattern. So this is more for the intermediate trader. Then I'm going to go into triple. Maybe that's for advanced traders. Four candlestick patterns. There are five candlestick patterns. Okay, so to my supporters, if you want to go through some other candlestick videos that I've made, you can check it out over here. I'm going to put it here. So with that, talk to you in the next video. Bye.